A family was just about to sit down for lunch when a tree crashed into their house. I heard really loud bang sound. I came downstairs and saw from the ceiling, big tree was in my kitchen. The damage looks even worse today. Thanks God means everyone is fine. There's no one hurt over here. This house nearby is smothered by branches. Never thought one of the trees is going to come right on top of my house. And it's terrible. The cleanup efforts are massive. Crews work to cut and remove fallen trees. Their roots, the soil, dust dry after months without rain. BC Hydro teams scramble to restore electricity as more than half a million British Columbians had their power knocked out. It's been uh, an event that BC Hydro hasn't seen in its, uh, in its history. Wind gusts up to 90 kilometers an hour sent trees smashing into vehicles. It's totally smashed at the back of the, the back window and the front window and I can't use it. Christopher King had just finished loading his car when... I uh, heard the crack, looked up, stepped back two feet and in slow motion she just fell over. Vancouver's Jewel Stanley Park was evacuated. There was a tree down by the, uh, by the bend before the, the tea house, so that one made all of us turn around and now we move this tree so we can get out again. The storm briefly shut down the Pacific National Exhibition, the p &E, but the winds shifted and the annual summer fair reopened. In Washington state, two people were killed, including a 10-year-old girl playing with friends when a branch hit her. A man died when a tree fell on his car outside Seattle. Moderate winds and heavy rain are expected in Vancouver over the next 24 hours, and the heavy winds Saturday did help push out some of the smoke covering Calgary over the past week from wildfires in Washington state. Sandy? All right, thank you, Janet. CTV's Janet Dirks in Calgary.